Hello and welcome to the Engage Brain Podcast. of this uh, podcast marathon for me, uh, talking about coping with stress, uh, which I think is something that everyone can do. Uh, and uh, I th- I'll start by asking, uh, what got you interested in the topic of, of coping and stress? Um, I mean, half, it was like the last one for us to pick. So. <laughs> but also, I mean, I guess I kind of liked our topic because I like looking at different ways to cope with stress and finding new ways. Mm-hmm for me for me to do myself yeah personally I don't know sometimes I have pretty bad anxiety so I'm always looking for new ways to cope with it and cope with just stress overall so I think it's interesting yeah yeah so some somewhat forced or pigeonholed into something uh somewhat I hopefully is helpful I mean yeah I I was still happy with the topic same definitely have been through the research and stuff. Yeah, so. and are there different types of coping mechanisms that are either new to you that you found in the research or um, ones that seem to be best, most helpful? Um, I think the biggest one that I've definitely agreed with is the exercise. Mm-hmm. Like, I've always known that that's been a big thing for me with stress relieving and just looking at it more just kind of makes more sense now, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. But. Yeah, I'm a swimmer, so I've always used swim practice as kind of an outlet. Like, if I'm having a bad day, Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of something to look forward to. And usually by the end of swim practice, I feel ten times better. So exercise is a big one. Yeah, exercise is huge for me, too. Uh, Mm -hmm. I miss uh, being part of a running team, uh, but uh, I I also just enjoyed being out by myself, running around. And it's something that I've uh, kind of followed for a long time. I've uh, been a little bit upset these last two days uh, with the ice. I haven't gone out. Uh, so just like lifting weights is, is kind of boring. I'm going to hopefully try to go out this afternoon uh, and not fall and hurt myself. Uh, but how about uh, thinking about the research? Has there been any kind of interesting um, research findings that you've, uh, you've found so far? The gray matter study mm-hmm. and by like meditation and yoga and stuff, it literally changes the size of your brain like Mm -hmm. i had no idea that i think that's really cool yeah Mm -hmm. Uh, i think uh, also this morning when we were looking at meditation that uh uh, that group mentioned that that same study yeah Mm -hmm. yeah um for me i guess it's just basically the like mental aspect of it that stress relievers what they do to your body actually Mm -hmm. because i mean i knew that those things like really stress, but they didn't really know how. So yeah. that's kind of cool to yeah. look at. It and yeah, that, I mean, that was something I, I was interested in too. I think before uh, we started the term, I found a, a study that was actually potentially showing how yoga and like the body practices are connected to the brain uh, and might be the like actual potential explanation for why yoga is a stress relieving mm-hmm. um, practice through the body um, that we actually uh, by holding our bodies in these different places, we get feedback from the muscles and everything up into our brain, uh, which then kind of like turns off some of the stress processes that yeah. um, kick them kick them off in the first place. Um, thinking about uh, how about uh, thinking about some of the things that we've done in, in the class. Uh, we tried yoga. We tried exercising. Uh, we tried uh, meditation today. Um, you've both said exercise was a, um, something that you value. Uh, these other ones, yoga or med- meditation, what have you thought about those? Given the opportunity, I would definitely keep doing yoga. Uh, I've done it a couple of times in the past. I've tried heat yoga and stuff, and I've mm-hmm. been, always enjoyed it every time that I do it. I don't know why I don't just do it more often, but um, I might actually try to get into that because I enjoy it. So. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think I'd stick with my current ones like just the exercising Mm -hmm. just anything else that I do for my own stress but the the one that I I did in class the yoga was definitely a I'd never actually done yoga before Mm -hmm. so that was kind of cool actually feeling my muscles after that actually Mm -hmm. feeling stress relief yeah during it and that was pretty cool but I don't think I will continue to do it I don't know I just don't see myself yeah I think I'm the same way like when people force me into doing um, meditation like this morning or 
yoga for class. Like I really enjoy them while I'm there and afterwards, uh, but I just can't carve out time. Like, yeah, it can't seem like, to find that spot. Yeah, like exercise, I need that. And so like there's that time saved, but then um, I'm just not willing to carve out some other part of my day to do meditation or, or, or yoga, even though they are both really mm-hmm. fun. Uh, and uh, I've even had in the past done some um, more advanced ones, so like the hot yoga uh, and like power yoga. Um, so I think Dayton was mentioning that there's um, kind of types of yoga where you go through more difficult poses and it's like very quick um, through all of them. So it's not relaxing at all. It's a yoga workout uh, and I really enjoyed those. But yeah, uh, just value different types of exercise. Yeah. yeah. Um, how about, has there been anything that's been confusing in, in the research that you've come across? Um, I guess not necessarily confusing, but I definitely looked more at the, uh, the, uh, like the fight or flight kind of deal, mm-hmm. like how your body actually reacts to that. And I don't know. Cause I had, I knew about it like just in general terms, mm-hmm. but just wanted to go more in depth yeah. for it basically. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do? Yeah, I can't really say there's a whole lot that's um, really confusing about coping with stress just in general. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think uh, that's kind of a theme we've come across in talking to everyone uh, from classes that it's pretty straightforward uh, yeah. that uh, we get stressed by these different things. We know of a number of ways that we can actually re- relieve the stress. Uh, but uh, my question for you is what do you think holds people back from engaging in all these things that we um, you know, are not confusing, are easy to understand, uh, but why don't we um, kind of engage in these different ways to deal with stress? I think people just get too caught up in their daily routine and they just kind of accept that stress is like a part of it and so they don't actually take the time to deal with it and they don't really realize what it's doing to their bodies and stuff at the time. Mm-hmm. So once you actually take a step back and look at it, you're like, oh, I can actually do this this or this to Mm -hmm. deal with it i don't have to feel like this all the time yeah i think for me and for a lot of other people too it's like the kind of comfort that you already have in Mm -hmm. your daily schedule and like even if there is stress like that's just kind of how you're what you're used to Mm -hmm. so i mean i don't like to change that up too much and yeah kind of mess with that yeah, comfort in time. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, because uh, l- like I was saying, like I don't take the time to carve out something else from the, the schedule to practice these different things. And, and like eating healthy, um, I don't maybe uh, Amy Cordingly from High V yesterday will disagree, but it's, it just takes time so- Definitely. sometimes. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. like I, I just don't like get the uh, uh, value of cooking. I, d- I mean, I cook my own meals but they're all like the same things that yeah. are easy to do mm-hmm. that I've found are like healthy enough uh, and uh, yeah just like I don't want to learn to do a bunch of other stuff and, and so I do exercise but then like I can't remember what are these other things you know with the yoga and meditation like sure those would be great but when yeah when yeah. You know, mm-hmm. I'll watch some Netflix or, or whatever instead uh, so I think kind of getting towards uh, wrapping up uh, do you think that there's any kind of one takeaway that you could um tell everyone about uh, coping with stress or something that they should um, kind of try to take from what you're finding I'd say be more open to different stress relievers like giving one try every once in a while or just for the first time it could be like your thing Mm -hmm. I guess like I didn't know that exercise was my like I was so into it exercising working out until like just a couple years ago Mm -hmm. I guess and now I do it all the time, so yeah. that clicked for me. Mm-hmm. Right. I think I'd say that there's a lot of different ways to cope with your stress, and um, if you try one thing and it's not like your thing, like yoga isn't like your guys' thing, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. um, there are other options, so mm-hmm. yeah, don't get discouraged, I guess. Yeah, well, perfect. So uh, the last questions, uh, anything either of you would like to promote? either here on campus, in Dubuque, more broadly? Definitely take advantage of um, the parks that Dubuque has. Mm -hmm. Like, I was in the Mines of Spain the other day, and it's not, like, the greatest weather, but it's still beautiful. Mm -hmm. So just to get outside and walking around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, I guess we kind of are in a good location, so mm-hmm. like kind of getting out and exploring more. Yeah, would definitely be. Like, I've done that more this year, and I've found some pretty cool things. And yeah, I mean, not only just like within a, within Dubuque proper. So mine's Spain, Swiss Valley, uh, Eagle Point Park uh, are all kind of cool outdoor places. Even the Riverwalk uh, is pretty, mm-hmm. pretty yeah, nice. Yeah. Like, um, but then oh, and the Heritage Trail. Uh, but then just like a. F- you know, like 40, within 40 minutes, we have, like, Makokita Caves uh, just south of here. Makokita Caves is cool. Yeah, and uh, Finley's Landing just kind of up north on the, the river. I I mean, I like going to Galena. Galena? Yeah, Galena is like cute. crazy, like, I don't know, just something about the town is really cool. Yeah. And just walking around there, and then Chestnut being so close. Like, I've always gone to Chestnut to, like, snowboard, but I'd never actually gone to Galena. Mm-hmm. And now I have to go through Galena yeah. this way, and I really like it. <laughs> yeah, I, I've only been over there like two or three times, but every time has been pretty fun. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, it's just like yeah. a weird little little town for like how small it is. It uh, seems so much bigger and yeah. more interesting. Uh, so I think that's it. Uh, thanks for coming.